to the 2020 Career and Technical Education Virtual Shining Nights Awards. My name is Marsha Becker. I am the Career and Technical Education Coordinator for Lake Havasu Unified School District and WAVE Western Arizona Vocation Education. Together, we create opportunities for students in career and technical education courses. I'd like to take this moment to thank a few people who sometimes work in the background and may go unnoticed. Ms. Francine Galea and Callie George are in our Career Center, and Ms. Judy Long is in the CTE office. These ladies provide opportunities for students on multiple areas in multiple ways every single day. Thank you. I'd like to thank our CTE teachers. Without your guidance, without your leadership, our students wouldn't be able to experience the success that they have at the various levels that you have provided for them. Thank you for your mentorship. Parents, thank you for all of the early mornings and late nights. Your students are amazing because of the support you have provided for them. Career and technical education offers more than a high school credit. Our students get hands-on opportunities, internships that lead to jobs, and industry certifications that place them one step ahead as they enter the workforce or attend college. Our students are leaving Lake Havasu High School ready. Class of 2020, I don't think there's been a class that has come before you that can say they were more prepared. You are strong, you are resilient, and you will take this world by storm. Remember, hardships prepare ordinary people for extraordinary things. Class of 2020, you will do extraordinary things. So let us take this time to celebrate your accomplishments, all of your hard work, time and effort that you have put into the things you are most passionate about, your career and technical education courses. Thank you. Welcome to the 2020 Shiny Knights Awards. My name is Jacob Magdaleno, and I'm a career and technical education student in the journalism class. Now, let me tell you why I love my CTE classes. These are the classes that I can practice my real life skills, earn an industry certification, and gain knowledge and experience doing what I love and am passionate about. Last year, I didn't know how to write an article or create a news package or even anchor for events like these. But with the help of my CTE classes, I can proudly say I've come a long way from then to now. We're holding our ceremony this year virtually to honor those students who have put their high school efforts into their passion. Hi everyone. Welcome to Lake Havasu High School Shining Nights Awards. The CTE stagecraft programs in our drama department offer preparations for real world experiences that students may find in the industry of theater, film, and television. The program embraces both on stage and behind the stage opportunities for students to learn skills associated with the theater arts. This year, our Shining Night Award goes to Sophia Morioki Solano. Sophia's been with our program for all four years. She came in as a just a small little freshman. She's not too much bigger now. And she began with our CTE stagecraft for musical productions and then quickly branched out and began to take our CTE stagecraft for show productions class as well. That's two advanced classes that she has been taking for the last two years. In addition, to her leadership roles on and off the stage in our drama club, as well as lending her choreography skills to assist us in blocking some of our numbers. Sophia's hard work has translated into remarkable results, especially at the state competition this year, where she superiored in both the musical theater solo and the acting monologue competition. This qualifies her to compete at the international level. Well, there's so much I could say about Sophia, uh, but time is running short and we have a little bit of a time limit. I think I'm on the Oscars right now and I hear the music playing. Sophia, you left this department a better place. And the memories that you have given us will last long after you've left. And I hope that you visit us regularly and stay in touch. Take care. Be well. This year, I knew who I was gonna nominate for this award after the first quarter of school. 
Um, first of all, the person that I would like to nominate is Mariana Rodriguez. Um, her personality and her dedication to our program and her attitude about academics is just out of this world. Um, she would make the best opportunities out of every day in my classroom. When I would notice kids are getting ready and cleaning up to leave my class and are in a hurry to go to lunch, Mariana would just be digging in to the assignment and she would, every single day, she would stay after school on her own time for an hour and work every single day. Her dedication was just like something I've never seen with my students ever teaching at the high school here. Um, she would also not just do the drawing, she wouldn't pick and choose assignments that she was gonna try for. She's tried on every single assignment and even graphic design wasn't something that she was very strong at and she ended up making one of the best logos in my program and actually put it to use for a company in Havasu, which um, just showed that she took what we did in class and she took it on her own to actually put it into use and go above and beyond for me. Um, she never had a bad day. She, she was the kid that would ask me what's wrong, not me asking them what's wrong. She was always in a good mood. She always has a smile on her face. And she's the kind of kid that you want to be around. It makes your day better just being around her. Um, I only taught her for one year, and that says a lot that I'm nominating her for this because she left a, a, I'll never forget having her in class, and she left a huge impact just in that one year that I had her. Um, so overall, she's um, one of the highest achieving students I've ever taught. She has everything, she has the skills, she has the personality, and she has the willpower. I can't wait to see what Mariana is doing as an adult in this world. Um, and I really miss seeing her in class throughout this whole situation. Thank you very much, Mariana, and I hope you have a great future in the next, in your college experience coming up next year. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Kevin Banks, and I teach graphic design, CTE, here at Lake Havasu High School. And this year, my Shining Night Award goes to Emma Patterson. Emma Patterson has been an avid art club student for four years. She was an officer for two. She participated in Skills USA as a member and as a representative for the graphic design program, as well as competing in the advertising design contest. She has two bronze medals from regionals in advertising design, as well as a fourth place finish and has competed in state two years. Last year, she ended up getting 16th out of over 40 some contestants. And we were really looking forward to this year. I know that she would have been able to do great things. Unfortunately, it was canceled, but we certainly had a great deal of faith that she would have done very well. In addition to that, I got the opportunity of teaching Emma for three of those four years here at Lake Cabins High School. In one of the years, her junior year, she submitted a Art, con or art drawing into a contest, it was the 4th Congressional Contest, and she ended up taking first place. With the fourth, first place, she got the $6,000 scholarship from NAU, as well as two round tip tickets to Washington, D.C., where she got to go to see her drawing being hung in the Capitol building at Washington, D.C., and I just think that that's just such an amazing honor that um, one of our Havasu High School students had artwork in Washington, D.C. representing our program. So for those reasons and many more, that's why I chose Emma Patterson for my Shiny Knight Award. Hi, everyone. I'm Sam Brindis, and I am the audio, music, video instructor here at Lake Havasu High School. It's a three slash four year program that covers introductory, intermediate, and advanced sections. It's a project based program where my students work with two different software programs. Yes, yeah, so the software that we use in my program is two of them in particular. One is made by a company called Avid and it's called Pro Tools. It is the global industry standard audio recording program used for literally music, television, radio film, anything that you hear, streaming, corporate, educational, anything with sound in it, more than likely Pro Tools was the program used. And the other program that my students work with is uh, made by Adobe and it's called Premiere Pro. Again, it is the industry standard globally for films, television, 
as well as any streaming platforms on the internet. Both wonderful programs and my students have done some amazing projects with both. Yes, yeah, so my Shining Night Award this year was very difficult to pick just one, but it goes to Brody Port. I have known Brody for four years at high school. During that time, he has been a gold medal winner in Skills USA. He has helped me in the Performing Arts Center, doing setup and breakdown for concerts and events and lighting and sound, uh, as well as in the gym. He's done lighting programming and for the pep assemblies, um, but most importantly, it's the relationship that Brody and I have built over the last four years. He's just a, such a mature young man now. We've talked about school, education after school, career choices, traveling, life choices. Brody, please know I will miss you tremendously and best of luck to you as my shining knight. As far as our certifications in the program, um, I had last year one of my juniors who's a senior this year uh, become a Pro Tools certified user, and that is Chase Novi. And then for my Adobe Premiere Pro, same thing. We had some juniors last year uh, that would, our seniors this year, would be Jose Acosta Torres, Jasmine Garcia, Dean Marks, and Brody Port. Additionally, as we speak now, I have probably a half a dozen or so seniors, both continuing with their AVID Pro Tools certification uh, process to get their exam completed this year for certification in Pro Tools, and probably six to eight of my seniors, same thing, working on their Adobe Premiere Pro certification. So I'm very proud of all of these students, and I'm confident that they will all get their certification. Thank you, and good evening. Hello. I'm Mrs. Norman, and I teach digital communications, which consists of journalism and yearbook. You see, in CTE, we are pretty lucky. Our students are here because they want to be here. I mean, students have to take math, English, science, but they don't have to take classes like journalism, especially for four years. When I choose a shiny knight, I always choose someone that is a hidden gem. They don't get tons of recognition, but they have been an unsung hero in my class. So I'm honoring someone I don't even recognize from three years ago. He took my class as a sophomore and eked his way through the writing and other parts that he really didn't like. However, he did it and he rose to the position of news editor this year. How many of you have watched the Royal Report? Well, the person behind assembling it all is Skylar Carbon and he has never failed to produce a royal report and upload to YouTube on time. Skylar, I want to say thank you for your contribution that will be a lasting part of LHHS. Your dedication to the royal report has been incredible, especially with not having school right now. You have still produced an amazing show each week. On to industry certifications. I'm sure you have all heard of Photoshop a program made by Adobe. Well, Adobe makes several programs that students not only use, but were able to certify in. The following students certified in Adobe Photoshop, Carly Arsenault, Alicia Medina, and Ashley Bucknam. Next, the students that certified in Premiere, which is a video editing program, are Skylar Carbon and Cameron Solis. Now on to some yearbook scholarships. In order to get a yearbook scholarship, you have to be a senior, have attended LHHS for the last two years, a cumulative GPA of 2.5 or higher, currently enrolled in digital communications publications, which is my yearbook class. Although $250 scholarships will be awarded to any seniors in the program who meet the qualifications, only two seniors apply. So tonight, instead of awarding only one with the overall scholarship, I am awarding them both with a $500 scholarship. Those two seniors are Jenna Diller and Katie Depoy. Hi, I'm Miss Denny and I teach the Business Management Program. I'm also the advisor for Future Business Leaders of America. There are three pathways in my Business Management Program. It starts with fundamentals, moves on to project-based activities. Next, students can do a college-level class, earn six elective credits, and also industry certification and Microsoft Office Specialist. Now I'd like to introduce my shiny knight, George Escobar. I've known him four years 
of high school. He completed my business management program. He's been a member of FBLA four years, currently our vice president. And uh, he is just dedicated, dependable, and a team player, and he cares. Um, George's innovation inspired him to achieve the America level of BAA Business Achievement Awards. It involves leadership, business skills, and community service activities, and it takes four years to complete. George has a great attitude. He's been resilient during these challenging times. I'm very proud of him and all his accomplishments. George's plans after high school include college and to pursue a job in public service like a government job. Um, next, I would like to introduce my industry certification students that earned, uh, did Microsoft Office Specialist. That would be Aurelio Morales, Alexis Weiss, George Escobar, Blaise Kovach, and Colton McDonald. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Jenny Sautner. I'm the advisor for Student Council and DECA at Lake Havasu High School. I teach the advanced marketing students. And I'm honored to present this year's Shining Knight Award from our program to Ms. Josie Jones. Her leadership roles this year uh, have not just been positional, they are authentic and they are uplifting because Josie Jones um, is more than just her title, she is a leader. She's our Associated Student Body Vice President. She is also the Director of our DECA programming. And although those are her official titles, her unofficial titles um, might also include things like um, room parent or bringer of homemade and delicious chocolate chip pancakes. Um, she is an inspiration to us all. Over the course of this year, she has made an indelible impact in our council and on our entire campus. Uh, she helped to improve the way that we run student activities and um, she uses her head for business and she uses her heart um, to just fill a space with positivity and with light. She is the embodiment of service leadership and I am so, so proud of her. Josie, I want to congratulate you on this accomplishment. It's just the first in a long line of accomplishments and success to come um, because that is who you are and that is what you do. I love you and congratulations. 2020 Shining Nights. What a long, strange trip it's been. Those of you who uh, have been in my program for longer than others know that this is the time of year that we're cleaning the shop and readying ourselves for next year's program. And this year, that just didn't happen for you guys. Uh, I am extremely proud of you guys. I think that we had an amazing school year. I think that we were very successful in quite a few areas. I appreciate all of your efforts. I appreciate all of your successes. I would like to hand my Shiny Night Award out this year to everybody in my program, from freshmen through seniors. The things that you guys put up with, the things that we made it through, uh, I'm just really proud and really impressed by the things that you guys did to make this a, a successful school year for me. I'm looking forward to most of you, if not all of you, coming back to my program next year. The greatest highlight that I had this year is the fact that I have the most sophomores and juniors who are performing at the highest level that I have ever had in my program. So I'm looking forward to great program growth next year. I'm looking forward to great success for all of you. Stay home, stay safe. Um, this is gonna end soon. We'll be out playing at the lake, maybe not together, but you know what we do in Havasu during the summer. Have a great summer and I'll see you all in August. Hi, my name is Brian Ulmer. I'm the new CTE cabinet making instructor here at Lake Havasu High School. Although I've had a short amount of time with the students, I have been able to see their abilities and accomplishments and I'm very pleased with their progress and their successes. In the cabinet making program, the students learn basic hand tools all the way to build, building finished cabinets and furniture. By their senior year, the students take the OSHA 10 safety course. The OSHA 10 construction safety course is a 10 hour certificate level review of occupational safety and health for the construction industry from the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. The students that have earned their OSHA 10 are Cody Ayers, Cole Kramer, Cameron Cole, Tanner Horvath, Jeremy Letcher, Enrique Morales, who takes the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning course at MCC, Jose Asagoya, George Viscano, and David Viscano. The student I'm selecting for this year's Shining Night is Tanner Horvath. 
He has always been willing to step up and do extra tasks and complete tasks whenever needed. Tanner has furniture that he has built on display and in use at Lake Havasu Unified School District in the front entrance of their lobby. I'm very proud of these students and all they have accomplished this year and congratulations to all the graduates. Hello, my name is Michelle Burke. This is my 20th year in the district and my second year teaching code. Programming languages taught include JavaScript, GML for GameMaker, C Sharp, Python, and Java next year. Students have the opportunity to participate in the Skills USA Club. The industry certification that the advanced students complete is called the MTA, Microsoft Technical Associate. There are six major sections of the test, including object-oriented programming, web and desktop applications and databases. I'm thrilled to honor six students who have passed the test last year and greatly deserve the recognition. Justin Erickson, Parker Flegger, David Ramirez, Derek Sanchez, Trevor Thompson, and Zach Van Colen. Next, I would like to present Justin Erickson, the Shining Knight Award. Justin is talented at code. He has made some sophisticated Game Maker games and has gone above and beyond in helping other students troubleshoot their errors, even in classes that are not his. Also, Justin participated in the ASU Amazon Echo Dot program last year. One of my fondest memories of Justin is when he had extra time after school and he offered to help me install several new monitors in the computer lab. This shows his kind heart and willingness to volunteer. He is an outstanding and Justin will be missed. seniors and families thanks for joining us we are here to present the early childhood education um, CDA recipients in our shining night this year we had 11 students earn their child development associate credential which is our highest number yet for any given year these students this year include Sienna Slay Paige Atkins Kelly Bautista Hernandez Cassidy Boyer Lauren Pasquale Yamlin Sanchez Lindsay Dye Daniel Dion, who is our first male recipient, Bella Kletchka, Mindy Garcia, and Cassandra Perez. And our Shining Night Award goes to Kelly Batista Hernandez. She is a great example of the face of an early childhood educator. She goes above and beyond by always stepping in and taking over a lesson for a student that was absent. She stops in our classroom throughout the day to see if there's anything that we need, and we really, really appreciate her. Yes, we're very proud of you, Kelly, and everyone else. And congratulations yes. until we meet again, <laughs> and we'll continue on with our rose ceremony. Okay, love you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye. Greetings. I am Julia Finney, Fashion Design and Merchandising Instructor and FCCLA Advisor. Fashion Design and Merchandising is a two-year program where students learn the art of sewing and design, as well as the business aspect of retail. Everything from the design process to the manufacturing to the end product on the racks in stores and online everywhere. FCCLA is the student organization associated 
with the fashion design classes and is focused on career readiness, community service, and leadership skills. All fashion students are invited to be members of FCCLA and those that participate are eligible to compete in a variety of topics and win scholarships to help them towards their education goals after high school. This year, in addition to the concepts of design, color, textiles, and fabrics, business and merchandising, students focused on the fundamentals of sewing. Students completed projects such as fabric binder covers, scrunchies, pencil skirts, and pajama bottoms, just to name a few. Next year, we will continue to build on those fundamentals. This year, the students also identified an urgent need in their school and decided to help use their talents to help. With a generous grant from CTE, the students volunteered their time after school and made over 20 window coverings for teachers' doors to be used during lockdowns, helping to protect students and staff. To my graduating seniors, I will miss you and I wish you only the best as you venture out into the world outside of the classroom. Keep me up to date once in a while with where life has taken you. To my returning students, get ready for a fun and challenging year when we return for the 2020-2021 school year. In closing, I want to share with you my favorite quote from Aubrey Hepburn. Nothing is impossible. The, world, the word itself says, I'm possible. Take care, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you in August. Hi everyone, uh, Miss Gray here. Uh, I teach law and public safety, criminal law and procedure, and crime scene management. And this year for my shining night, I chose Bailey Ferris Gaunt. Uh, Bailey took my intro class last year, and this year she's taking on levels two and three at the same time, and has A's in both classes. Um, while in my class, she has earned her certification for incident command through the Federal Emergency Management Agency. She was also my Skills USA representative this year and attended the Fall Leadership Conference in Williams, Arizona. Um, not only has she accomplished things uh, in the classroom, she was also just a huge help and uh, stepped up on her own to help me in the classroom whenever I needed help. Uh, my advanced students designed this uh, t-shirt. Uh, she was a huge um, help in getting that done and uh, helping take orders for me this year. Um, she helped mentor other students. Um, she's just a true, true leader. And Bailey, I just wanna say thank you. I'm really gonna miss you and you are my shining knight. Samantha Harvey is receiving the Shining Knight Award. Samantha already had years of experience in the early childhood program and she consistently wows me with her ability to stay focused amongst turmoil, her knowledge and natural ability. She served as president of our CTSO, Educators Rising, um, was always willing to mentor first year students and she will be an exemplary teacher in the future. In addition to all her merits, I will most cherish her memorable love of Cheez-Its, TikTok dances, and funny stories about her grandmother. I would like to present the Education Profession's Shiny Knight Award to Samantha Harvey. We had two national contenders this year, Kelly Bautista Hernandez and Yamalin Sanchez. Kelly Bautista Hernandez took third place at state in the Educators Rising Moment category. The purpose of this competition is to provide students at the national conference opportunities to articulate why they aim to pursue a career in education. Kelly's speech passionately detailed the many adversities she has overcome to ultimately foster her love for pursuing a teaching career. Yamalin Sanchez took third place at state in the lesson planning and delivery STEM category. This competition challenges young students to plan and deliver a lesson of their choosing to an actual classroom of students. Self-reflection following the lesson is an essential component of this competition. A clear-eyed evaluation of what you've done is the best way to learn and make wise choices in the future. Yamlin's natural teaching ability combined with her poise and confidence and reflection allowed her to score nearly perfect in this competition. Both of my second year students, Samantha Harvey and Alexis Johnson, were able to obtain their paraprofessional certification. They were required to pass a test based on education profession standards, as well as the parapro certification test. They will now be employable in a teaching-related profession while pursuing their college degrees. 
Hi, I'm Carla Desper and I'm Phoebe Kyle. We're here from Way Culinary and Hospitality Campus. It's bittersweet. We are here because we are going to recognize our famous students tonight. We have several things to talk about. So certifications, we have Serve Safe and Customer Service. The students being awarded those certifications are Nayeli Alvarez, Hunter Brinkerhoff, Zachary Bryant, Eric Claudier, Devin Dorsett, Destiny Falwell, Jaden Greenleaf, Haley Machoon, Nick Neves, Melanie Ortega, Brian Pfeiffer, Ashlyn Spade, Josh Stellarine, Lily Tank, Alexis Thomas, and Skylar Wilson. We would also like to congratulate a few of our seniors on their amazing achievements. Andrea Alvarez and Marcus Perez both earned hefty scholarships through their CCAP competition. Additionally, Andrea Alvarez and Aiden Payne White earned their baking and pastry certifications through concurrent enrollment at the high school and MCC. We have so much to celebrate. Um, we also want to just close with our shining night. We have one student that stands above the rest. She has competed in all dinner series events, um, a year's internship, several special events. She's a CCAP winner and she's earned three certifications. And so our shining night is Andrea Alvarez, congratulations. Hi, I'm Mrs. Esme and I teach the Allied Health Biology at Lake Havasu High School. I'm also the host advisor, which is our Health Occupation Students Organization on campus. We work hard at Lake Havasu High School to provide many opportunities for our students who want to go into medical related programs. We give them opportunities to learn things such as medical law and ethics, medical assisting and sports medicine, just to name a few. This year, our dual enrollment program, as well as HOSA, teamed up together with Grand Canyon University to provide our kids a suturing lab where they learned how to do sutures. Our OHOSA program was also brought in um, some mental health experts to get them certified in mental health first aid. We also brought in experts to help teach them CPR skills to help save a life. Our students are also able to take concurrent classes with MCC and many of our students this year have earned certifications in phlebotomy, CNA, and EMT. Thank you. Hello, it's Mrs. Becker. I am awarding our Senior Shining Night Award this year to Jasmine Salinas. Jasmine has been interested in the healthcare field for several years. She has been in my class this year, HES 113 and 129. She has previously taken the Certified Nursing Assistant Program as well as the Sports Medicine Program through AWC. When I asked Jasmine you know, why she wanted to take the Certified Nursing Assistant as well as the Sports Medicine, she said she wanted to see both sides of the spectrum of taking care of an elderly or aging person as well as our younger um, sports injury management. Jasmine's future plans are to attend Grand Canyon University and become a physician's assistant. When you think about somebody taking care of you when you're sick, you want somebody that's patient and kind and considerate, and Jasmine exemplifies all of those qualities and all of those traits. So congratulations, Jasmine. I know you're gonna be successful in your future endeavors, and I'm proud to say that I was able to present this award to you as your teacher. Hello, Shining Night Awards. This is Pete Burgess from MCC. I wanted to say uh, congratulations to Derek for getting the uh, programming and game design certificate. Fantastic job. I enjoyed having you in my classes and I hope you did as well. Hopefully you'll come back to MCC. Uh, great job. You were a great student. Had you in several classes and you're going to go far. I can just tell. So good luck to you out there and, and have, a great, have a great rest of the semester and the summer. And hopefully we'll see you in the fall. Take care. Thanks. And I just wanted to uh, say congratulations to Jose Torres Acosta for his uh, certificate through our program in cybersecurity. This is a great field to go into. And uh, he proved himself in many classes that he took with us. And it was a pleasure to have him in the class. And I just want to wish you the best. Great, great field. There's so many opportunities in cybersecurity these days, especially since we're, we're all locked in our homes and everybody's online if we're not online all the time anyway. So congratulations on that certificate, wonderful accomplishment while you're, while you're still in high school. This is amazing. And uh, we, didn't have, we didn't have opportunities like this back when I was in high school, but that was, that was back in the dark ages. So anyway, 
Uh, congratulations. Have a great rest of the semester. Have a great summer. And I hope to see you back at MCC for uh, more classes or best of luck if you choose another university. So thanks again and, and take care of yourself. Hi, my name is Tammy Knight and this is my second year teaching the nursing assistant program for Mojave Community College. The nursing assistant program is a one semester course. It is comprised of classroom, practical and clinical experiences. The comprehensive curriculum provides the students with knowledge, skill, and attitude necessary to perform in the role of the nursing assistant or home health care aide. Principles of human biology sciences, communication, nutrition, and nursing sciences are incorporated throughout the course. The student will be able to provide personal care and services, assisting with activities of daily living to the patients within a clinical setting. Our high school students dedicated two four-hour nights each week learning and practicing their skills. The students are required one eight-hour clinical day on the weekend two times a month where they go into the nursing facilities and work with residents in some facilities here in Lake Havasu. Upon successful completion of this program, the students are eligible to take the state certification exam. Once they have passed their state exam, the students can complete their application through the Arizona Board of Nursing to request certification or licensing. I am proud to honor nine students that have completed this course and passed their state exam and can now go out and start their career in healthcare. They are Skylar Dunlap, Sage Farley, Jasmine Freelich, Mindy Garcia, Maylee Hernandez, Jasmine Salinas, Rebecca Bengoa, Cassidy Bier, and Lauren Pascal. Congratulations to all of you ladies. You did a fantastic job and it was a pleasure to have you in class. The goal of the Brazina Grant is to help CTE graduates of Lake Havasu High School in a very unique manner, to hand them a no strings attached financial boost to help them jumpstart their career in whatever field they choose and for any purpose that they decide. Graduates are encouraged to use the award for needed equipment or tools, transportation, to start a business, school tuition, or whatever else they need in pursuit of their vocation. For this year, 2020, the scholarship committee is proud to announce this year's winner as Jenna Diller. We wish her well in her photography and business endeavors at Pima Community College. Congratulations, Jenna. Hi everybody, my name is Amy West and I'm the superintendent of WAVE. Thank you so much for including me in your award celebration. As you know, WAVE is a career preparation district for high school students in Mojave and La Paz County. We partner with Lake Havasu High School. For some of you, we paid tuition and fees for you to attend the community college and others attended our culinary program at our own WAVE Central Campus. Today I get the honor of presenting the WAVE honor cords. These cords are the most prestigious award given to a CTE student. To earn this distinguished award, students have to pass their state technical assessment with a score that is 25% above the state pass rate. They have to maintain a GPA of 3.0 and they have to have earned their industry certification or credential in their program. It is with great privilege that we honor these seniors that have earned that distinction. In music and audio production, Chase Noby, Brody Port, and Jose Torres Acosta. In auto technology, Cameron Cole and Tanner Horvath. In cabinet making, Cameron Cole and Tanner Horvath. Digital communications, Cameron Salas, Alicia Medina, and Ashley Bucknam. In business management, Aurelio Morales, Alexa Weiss, and Jorge Escobar. In software and development and app design, Parker Flegger, Derek Sanchez. In early childhood education, we have Yamelin Sanchez, Daniel Dion, Mindy Garcia, Paige Atkins, Lindsay Dye Slezak, Sienna Slay, Casti Bouliar, Isabel Kletchka, Lauren Pascal. In health services, we have Sage Farley, Mindy Garcia, 
Maeli Hernandez, Jasmine Salinas, Rebecca Bengoa, and Lauren Pascal. From the WAVE Central Campus Culinary and Hospitality Program, we have Andrea Alvarez, Marcus Perez, and Naeli Alvarez. And from Law and Public Safety, we have Kelly Walker. Congratulations to all of you. Wear your cords with pride. You earned them. Thanks to all of you for all you have done in your CTE programs. Have a great summer. Well, that's a wrap. A special thank you to Mr. Brendis for putting our virtual Shining Nights ceremony this year. Congratulations to all the 2020 CTE Shining Nights, career and technical student organization winners, industry certification earners, and CTE graduation honor cord recipients. Your hard work, dedication, and perseverance has prepared you well for your next step. Go take on the world nights.